Okay, let's set up the background. The first step is to make sure that you have the correct background stance. Remember, it's the one that stands straight up. Next, extend the background stand by turning the knob and doing it in the exact same way that you did the lights. You want to separate the two background stands about 10 feet away from each other. The next step is to put together the background pole. Here, our background pole is in three parts. Push in the little ball, push it all the way in until it locks into the hole on the other side of the pole. Just like that. This pole requires that it's done twice. Remember to secure it when the ball goes in the hole. After that, simply place the background pole on top of the background stand. The next step is to roll out your custom design headlit background. You want to make sure you have a lot of floor space um, because it is going to require approximately 16 feet of space to put together once it's on the floor. After that, you separate all four pieces of the custom design headlit background. Make sure that each piece is in its right place by looking at the designs on the opposite side. Once you're ready to tape the background, you want to make sure again that you line up the two designs so that they equal up the best that you can. Here, we're lining up part number one with part number two. Once you tape the background down, the one thing you want to make sure is that the background is as tight as possible, that somebody is pulling the background on all sides. Once the background is being pulled, place one long piece of tape all the way across. Do that for every piece of the background. Once the background is completely put together, simply turn it over and attach it to the background pole. You attach it using clamps. You need three clamps to attach. One on the right, one on the left, and one in the middle. Once the background is attached to the background pole, begin to raise the background. Um, you want to make sure that you're pushing the background pole up from the first knob and work your way down. Once you have the floor defined, roll out the background all the way to the end it should be about four to five feet of background. And tape the background floor to the actual floor. This is what the background should look like once it's complete.